Sean Kushner, Sean D. Well, today a customer brought this piece in. We have to uh, put this little part in. And I'm guessing this may be off a motorcycle or something, but the hole on this is too small. And unfortunately, our chuck and uh, bore diameter on the lathe isn't big enough for this to go in so that we can cut this. So, we want to show you an alternative way to do this using your mill and a three jaw chuck. As you can see, we've Clamp a three jaw chuck to the table. We let it hang over the end so that our pipe can stick through there. And uh, we've got this in here to work with. We've also had to take and move the head around so it comes over the edge of the part. And we've sent it up with another drill. <clears throat> Brought this down to where it lines up on the other hole, and that'll be close enough to do what we need to do because this doesn't have to be real precision because this thing here kind of fits whatever's there. Anyway, here we go. First thing we have to do is take the uh, drill out. And we'll replace it with a drill bit that'll fit our part that goes in there. I'm guessing this may be some sort of a rear view mirror adapter or something that goes in the end of the handlebar. And again, could be something else. pressure on this because you just have one clamping point on the chuck. It's hot, huh?
move this over a bit. See if this fits down in there. Looks like we need to go a little bit more. Well, what I did to get this back to where I'm at zero is I've set my Jizu readout at zero zero on my initial setup. So. This is just another use for your uh, mill uh, to be able to drill holes in pipe or tubes. If you have any questions, give me a call at Coast Mace R&D. We'll see you soon.